Now, a couple things to know what we did intentionally on the design from a software standpoint. You'll notice it is the Chrome browser, right? So we wanted to use a UI that was very familiar for people. So basically, if you know how to use a browser, you know how to use this operating system. So very, the learning curve is zero for most people, right? If they've been online, they know how to do this. Um, another thing we've done, so we've created this new tab page, right? This is kind of the home screen that people see. And what's amazing when you log in here, one of the features we talked about was sort of simplicity, right? So all my apps are just synced. So if I went to look at my Chrome browser on my PC or my Mac or wherever, this is exactly the same screen, which is a really nice, seamless experience across all those devices. Now, what's cool too here is we've got the Chrome Web Store, right? So there's over 4,000 web apps in the Chrome Web Store. It's just like any other app market. You can just go in there, download them, they stall right here. And some of them actually are pretty cool. So um, just load this one up so you can take a look at it. This is called Lucid Chart, which is kind of a fun one. You can basically do any kind of flow chart needs are sort of met by this app. And here you're in a web browser, draw arrows and charts and other things. If you like flow charts, I'd recommend this one. But there's tons of apps. You can go and check those out, which is kind of cool. Um, another thing that we wanted to make sure we did with this device, so obviously it's designed for people that live online. Right? You live on the web, this is a perfect device for you because it's all there. But a lot of people may, you know, they may have files that aren't online, right? So just to like garden variety SD card, take it out of your camera maybe, pop it in. What we wanted to do is make this experience really easy. So when you put the web at the center of a device, what happens is we want to try to eliminate all the steps. So if we have pictures, for example, and we want to share these with friends and family, you can quickly you know, switch between views, preview them and whatnot. But we've written a file handler API. What's really cool about this, we've got one here that just syncs with Picasso. So since I'm logged into my Gmail account, I'm also logged into Picasso, I can choose an album and literally name it, hit upload, and the picture's there. So it sort of diverts any intermediate steps. You can quickly share pictures with your friends and family. It also works if you have uh, movies, for example, music, all these things uh, load up in your browser and just work. So again, we've tried to make this experience really easy for users to, to, to get in and get out with their data. Another thing, it's built right into Chrome or PDFs, right? So there's a lot of times you have to wait for an you know, Adobe Reader to open up. It's just like chugs and chugs and chugs. So we've just created, I'll just click on the link I've never clicked on before, it quickly loads PDFs. So when I gotta go home and like file taxes, I can just open this up and unfortunately fill this out and pay the, pay the government. Um, so that's, that's how it works um, with the PDF side. And how do you print? How do you print? Great question. So what we've done, um, was, uh, about six months ago, we launched a thing called Google Cloud Print. And what we're doing is we're making printers, like you can share them like a Google Doc. So have you ever used uh, Google Docs before? Yeah. So you know how you can just add people's email and they can see your doc and edit it and whatnot? Same thing for printers. So if you were to walk out, um, we've got a line of HP printers that work great. This is the one I use at work. You can just open up the printer. So we're just like Control-P, right? Just and if I say, say like an old printer. So if you have an old printer, how we've got it right now, basically any sort of legacy printer, you can activate it with the machine that it's currently plugged into. So if you have a PC or Mac or whatever, and basically you can make it shareable. Same process. You just have to use your old computer that it's plugged into for now. Okay. Yeah, great question. But printing's really seamless here, right? Uh, and, and much quicker too. We're trying to obviously get rid of cables and everything yeah. else and just make it much easier. So, uh, any other questions on what you're seeing here? Do you guys want to play with it a little bit? Hold it up? Yeah. Look at it? <laughs> so, very light. Uh, like they said, the battery life here. When we put on the sites eight and a half hours. I've got it to ten before on this one, so it's great battery life. Okay, then you uh, lower the, the brightness of the screen. No, uh, no, I keep it fully bright. So if I want to go even longer, I'll just like dim it a little bit. Um, you know, the offline story. I used this on the flight over and used like Sundar said. We've got a lot of the Google uh, Gmail calendar docs we're testing internally right now. They work like a charm. So those will be out in just uh, a few months. Uh, kind of some mid-summer. Um,